so in 2018 i experienced a lot a lot of hair loss and i found a recipe that really worked for me about a week ago i posted that recipe on tiktok and it got almost 200,000 views which is crazy i was not expecting that but i'm so glad that it did because this can help so many people hopefully i'm just going to be speaking from my own experience that's all i can do i'm not a professional I'm not a doctor a doctor didn't recommend this to me this was just something that i tried on my own i also want to mention that i wanted to wait until my hair looked perfect and i did it and all those kinds of things but i was just putting it off putting it off and i wanted to just get this video out there because there were so many questions on that video and i wanted to have a place for them to all be together so that if you need to know something you could just come right to this video so that is why i did not do my hair this is second day hair but that's real life this is what my hair looks like on a daily basis i have dry shampoo in it and it does not need to be perfect i will be showing you before and afters at the end of this video so keep watching until then if you're curious how my progress has been i will not be sharing the actual recipe in this video maybe in the future i will make it its own youtube video but the video is on tiktok so i will link it below so you can go watch it however in this video i want to answer all of the questions that were most commonly asked on that tiktok as well as provide a little bit of a backstory. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And I hope that if you're watching this and you're experiencing hair loss, that this helps you and gives you a little bit of hope because it has truly done so much for me. So first let's start off with a little bit of back. I have never been someone with super thick hair, but I've always had a lot of it. My hair is super fine, but I always had full hair, never really thought about it. In 2018, I started losing clumps and clumps of hair. I mean, there were so many days where I was having breakdowns. I would count the hairs when I got out of the shower. I was seeing bald spots all of a sudden. I would take pictures so that I can keep up with my progress. Like I said, I was trying Rogaine and things like that and trying to convince myself that I was seeing results and I really wasn't. The first time I had hair loss was due to a severe vitamin D deficiency and once I fixed that my hair did start to grow back however after that I was taking a steroid and got off of it and after that I experienced a lot of hair loss and that was definitely the worst time so since then I've also had a little bit of hormonal hair loss and overall there's been times where I've gotten my hair to grow back and it's fallen out again so I saw amazing results for myself that make me feel confident about my hair. I know that I still have thin hair. I know that I have all these wispy baby hairs, which to me is a sign of progress. I did not have all of that before. And I am very confident in my hair now. And that is why I wanted to share this recipe. So let's just get into some questions. One of the most commonly asked questions was, what did I mean in that video by saying, soak the seeds twice? So all I meant is that you take those seeds, soak them, wait the eight hours, and then strain them. Put that liquid that you get into a spray bottle and then leave the seeds, don't throw them out yet. Put the same amount of water in again, soak them again for eight hours, strain them and put them in the bottle. This way you will get more liquid and I started noticing when I first started making this product that when I would soak the seeds the first time, they would soak up a lot of the water. So you get a lot more liquid the second time and the first time you get a little bit more of a concentrate. So it's just nice to have both and then you'll have plenty to use for a couple of months and you just want to store it in the refrigerator. So I would say that I started washing my hair only every other day. I used to wash it every day because I have really thin hair, but I started making a dry shampoo that I really like, so now I'm able to stretch it. The shampoo that I use is called Argon Shampoo by Maple Holistics. I actually found this through a YouTube video um, talking about natural shampoos that people like, and you can get it on Amazon. You can also get it on their website. I don't always use conditioner, to be honest, just because I don't usually like them. They usually weigh my hair down and make my hair look really streaky. So I don't have a conditioner right now that I love, but I'm sure any conditioner you use that's lightweight will be good for you. 
Another question that I got was when do I use it and how often? So I use it before I shower when I'm going to shampoo my hair. So that is usually two to three times a week. Once you have been doing this for a couple of months, you can kind of space it out more and see what you think. And everyone is different. For me, I like to still keep up with it just because I'm a little bit paranoid to be honest, but that's just me. If you feel comfortable going longer stretches, that is totally okay. I just spray it directly on my scalp in the specific areas that are thinner. I used to also spray it in my ends, my lengths, and it makes your hair really shiny, so that's an added benefit. Does it smell? So if you've ever used fenugreek in cooking, you know that it kind of has a smell. The smell doesn't bother me, but that's totally a personal thing, and it totally washes out for me in the shower. If there's any lingering scent, I can't smell it from on my head, so... That is totally a personal thing. If it bothers you, you could try adding essential oil to it or do like a double cleanse in the shower. But for me, from my experience, it does not linger. So one of the last and most important questions is what kind of hair loss did I have? So I had vitamin deficiency hair loss from vitamin D, which did resolve itself once I started taking vitamin D supplements. Again, this is just my experience. Please go see your doctor if you're having hair loss. Um, another time I had it was from getting off of a steroid that I was taking for medical reasons that I will not talk about in this video, but if you have heard me talk about my surgery on Instagram, then you will know. But if you don't know, steroids can retain water in your body. And I think my body was just so used to having that extra moisture. And when it was gone, it struggled a little bit with keeping, you know, my skin hydrated, my scalp hydrated, things like that. So that was when this really came in handy and helped me. I've also had hormonal hair loss, which sucks. Um, but this has always kept my hair pretty even and kept growing through those kind of hair losses and when I would have a new type of hair loss it would keep the shedding at bay. What I meant in that video when I said I saw results after a month is that my hair stopped shedding after one month of using this. My hair started growing especially around my hairline which was crazy because I was really starting to notice thinning around there and just that feeling of not having to see all of the hair coming out in the shower was just a huge relief so that is what i meant by seeing results as for actually feeling confident about my hair it probably took a couple of months all i can say is that now for quite a few months i've been feeling really good about my hair and I hope that this helps you too. I hope that you go watch that video. I hope that you try it. If you do, tag me, I would love to see. Okay, so to end this video, I just wanted to reiterate that this video was in no way about my hair being perfect 
or this spray being magic. It is not about that. I wanted to show you that I'm just a person who went through really bad hair loss and I found a way to fix it when nothing else was working and I had to share it because I'm sure that there are people out there going through the same thing. So I hope that you find this video and I hope that it helps you. And I hope that you can see that I don't claim to have perfect hair. I'm not, that's not what I was saying in that video at all. I I'm just, really happy with my hair today and I'm confident in it and that is all that matters. I hope that this can help you become confident in your hair again as well. And don't ever let anybody tell you that it's stupid because even the dermatologist told me that I only cared about my hair because I was young. But if your hair is something that makes you feel confident, then getting it back to a place that does that for you, there's no shame in that. So I'm with you. I hope that you find this video. Hope it helps you. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys soon.